Hi everyone, it's me, Loser of 08, in a sweater, because it's sweater weather, in my fucking cheap ass choker, I'm only wearing it because there's like a weird zit hickey over here, so I'm trying to like obscure it a bit, so you people don't have to be disgusted anytime I have to turn around, and you have to look at my neck, so yeah, that's why I'm wearing the choker, that's kind of it basically. <laughs> Anywho, I'm back again with, with records. To, shoot, to show you, you can see the side on those things. Um, it's been a while, hasn't it? I haven't made a video all of September, so there's that. So I'm trying to like find like what I haven't shown yet. So so this will be really nice. If I have shown some of these things, then please tell me. Um, I, I don't know if I have or not. So uh, as usual, it is it's time for me to show you people what my music taste is. Even though these don't really act, these don't really um accurately showcase what I'm really fucking with. Like, this week has been nothing but, like, Memphis rap and crust punk and dungeon synth and black metal, and I have none of that in here. I have, I have, I have a war metal album, so that kind of counts, but the majority of that is not here. So we're gonna start off with the best Memphis rap tape ever. That's right. Daniel Ovaltine's R Plus 7, One of Tricks Point Never, everyone's favorite electronic man, or, uh, or Vaporwave Man, if you're into Chuck Person and all that other nonsense. R Plus 7, really nice, nice electronic album. My hair is in the way, as usual. So, there's that. Then we got everyone's favorite Avant Grandpa. That's right, Scott Walker. Tilt. I love Avant Grandpa Scott Walker. I love, I like his usual stuff, too, but when he was getting, like, re really weird and funky during during his old phase, yeah, he was he, he's pretty tight. This is probably my favorite of his of his weird, old, dark ambient, dark baroque phase. So yeah, Tilt by Scott Walker. Uh, fucking post-rock boys, Gaster Del Sol, Camafleur, good old, good old Jim O'Rourke, David Grubb boys. Can't go wrong with, with this. It's lush, experimental, and it's beautiful. It's fucking, this, this is what real post-rock is all about. This is real post-rock. Fuck your fucking crescendo core bullshit. This is real post rock. Uh fucking true pulse rock. Pulse rock. Pfft. Pulse rock. Here's my here's the warmail album I was talking about. Fucking blasphemy. This is some fucking nineties war metal shit. Fallen Angel of Doom is the album name. This is some cool hard shit coming right at you. Some nice, nice fucking war metal. Speaking of war metal. Olivia Tremor Control, Dusk at Cubus Castle. Yeah, I just recently found this. Like, oh shit, they, they got this. Cool. So yeah, fucking OTC boys. My favorite Dungeon Synth album. That's right, Parentheses by Sugar Rose, or Untitled, whatever people like to call it. Yeah. I forgot I honestly had this. Like, I even had this in my last Mount Update video, but I, I just didn't show it. So yeah, I probably have another record I just didn't show that's here, but I... I honestly forgot that I even I, I bought this. It's it's a wonderful album. It's not as great as Agnetis Bjorn, but it's still a really good Sugar Ross album. Sugar Ross. Sugar Ross. Sugar Ross. Sugar Ross. Sugar Ross. Here's the United States of America, the most American album ever. The most American experimental psych rock album ever. So yeah, the USA. Experimental 60s psych rock shit. Now we got ourselves John Zorn, Naked City, Naked City. They reissued this. There's a bootleg running rampant somewhere, and it's like, oh, oh, cool. And then this came out, and it's the legit actual reissue. So it's like, yay, Naked City by John Zorn. What a wonderful post-Avent jazz core album, as, as, as the kids love to say it. So yeah, that's cool. And lastly, we got... The Coil reissues, New Backwards, and The Ape of Nipples. Good old, good old Coil stuff. Can't go wrong with Coil, you know. Us, us hip, cool, avant teens gotta, gotta be hip with Coil, I guess. I don't fucking know. What, 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 what's the cool buzzword nowadays for, for the internet music crowd? Like, eh, like shitcore? Oh, shitcore's an actual genre, isn't it? Wasn't there, like, a band called Passenger of Shit? They had, like, a song called, like, I Staple Tapeworms to My Penis or something? Something along the lines of that. Anywho, what am I missing? Oh! I got Super AE by Boredoms on CD. So, I don't want to get out of my seat, but I, I have it on CD as I, as I point 
to an obscure direction in my room that you won't be able to see, but it, it I, I have it. I have Super A. I just forgot to show you that. No tapes, sadly. I wish I got tapes. I need tapes, goddammit. I need tapes. I need tapes. It's gonna be the new tape revivalism. So, anywho, let's do a uh, fucking uh, recap before before I leave. Uh, what is it? What is it? R plus seven, one tricks point never. And then we got we got Scott Walker's tilt, and then what else? Yeah, Gas Del Sol, and blasphemy. And let's see what else? Is there. Oh yeah, Livia Tremor Control. And Sugar Rose and the United States of America and Naked City and of course the Coil albums, New Backwoods and the Ape of Naples. I'm trying to save up money and I I, I don't know what other fucking albums to really get at this point. Like I I'm just like what other like everything just sort of got reissued like during the summer, so it's like what else is left? <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to get like the fucking Agalock reissues, but it's like, eh, I don't. I, I kind of don't want to now. I don't know why. I like Agalock. I mean, fuck. I have the mantle poster. If you can see it, kind of. It's if it's obscured up there, but I don't know. And uh, I'll see you in 2017 or maybe November. I'll make like a fucking year end video as I usually do. Why the fuck not? Anywho.